No, I think I might be uh, might be on my own, folks, for this one, but that's no problem. Oh, wait! Out of nowhere, a wild toffee appears. I have returned. Welcome back. Thank you. Dalsam versus Guile. Um, Nashu has been playing Guile for a certain amount of time, from what I understand, after deeming Laura not fit to use. But he's really been improving a lot with this character lately, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he could take this over Coop. Yeah, Coop definitely a strong Dalsam player, but I uh, don't know if he's been playing much recently. Yeah, he hasn't. I know for a fact. He's been like testing it out, but he just told me he hasn't been able to play for two weeks. Right, we're into this. Using booms, just kind of exchanging zoning. But uh, Koop is quickly using that dash and that float to back try and into a corner. And, uh, ooh, uses that Sobat to go over that low and uh, punishes. Also, definitely not a character you see much around these cards, so I wonder if Brian has much experience in the matchup. Uh, he was definitely not plus after that. Like, if you just do like an air to air as you're starting your jump arc, the person who's later in the jump arc will always win. Definitely an execution error there to Coop. Ooh, Aaron flash kick. And didn't punish that flash kick either. Rust is kind of showing from Coop. Another? Definitely Rusty. Looking like the Tin Man out of Alan. Tin Man out of Oz. I'll get my references right one day. One day. Floating over those booms. Going under. V trigger and Coop takes it. 1 0. He's still using that V-Trigger 1, and I assume that's because he hasn't learned V-Trigger 2 yet, but V-Trigger 2 is the superior option, uh, as a lot of Belgian players have been saying. Uh, you can just like manipulate those fireballs forever, and they have so many hits, and there's so many setups you can do. Meanwhile, the Flame Carpet is just like, the activation is the best part about it, and even that is like, only good for converting off those little slides, as we saw last time. His techniques and tactics may be dated, but he's definitely getting the job done here. He is, that's for sure. Oh, not close, not far away enough to get the jabs after that, but gets that pressure. Using that float to go over the fireball is very smart. Tryon isn't taking that opportunity to uh, dash in out of fear that he will get uh, heavy punched. Slides into a boom that time. Picking him apart with limbs. Slide, but no V trigger to back it up. Closes it out. Uh, Coop on match point, set point, whichever, I don't know. Uh, Tryon has to do a lot in order to turn this around, but he's just getting opened up by these medium kicks, not sure what to do. Yeah, just kind of respecting it, not throwing any more fireballs. Oh, I'm really surprised that Boom didn't anti him. Happens to not be there for the EX flash game. There we go, trying with the corner now. Maybe he can turn this around here. Come back? All he needs is like one combo or like uh, pressure. Yeah, nice.
come back. Oh, drops the combo. This is a huge opportunity for Coop to like close this out. And it seems like uh, Tryon is just falling into Coop's hands, as we can see there. And Coop takes it a quick 2-0. And it's now my turn. All right, thank yeah. you for joining me. We'll catch you again no later, Coffee.